When creating dashboards and reports in Excel, it's often useful to have a helper table that contains a list of dates that represent business days, that is dates that are not weekends or holidays. You can use the workday function. The syntax is start date, a date that represents the start date, days, the number of working days you want to add or subtract to the start date, holidays, a list of one or more dates that should also be skipped. Saturday and Sunday are treated as weekends. For example, let us generate a list of business days for the month of Jan 2021. For reference, the dates in Jan 2021 are listed in the table where the weekends are in red and holidays in blue. Format column A as date. Open the format cells dialog box. On the number tab, select date in the category list and choose the date format you want. Enter the start date in A2 and list of holidays in column C. List of holidays should be formatted as dates. In the cell beneath the start date, enter this formula. Work day within parenthesis, pass the date in A2 as start date, pass 1 as days argument to get the next business day after the start date, pass the list of holidays to exclude in the third argument, log the range for list of holidays with absolute references so that it doesn't change as you copy the formula down. Type a dollar sign in front of column and row reference. This formula gives the next business day excluding weekends, Saturday and Sunday and the holidays in the list. Jan 2nd and 3rd are skipped as they are weekend days and next business day is Jan 4th. Copy the formula down. As we are using relative reference for start date, when we copy the formula down, A2 changes to A3. A3 has the previously calculated business day, so this formula calculates the next business day. Next business day is listed as Jan 5th as it is not a weekend or holiday. Copy the formula down and now it skips Jan 6th and 7th as they are listed as holidays and list the next business day as Jan 8th. Now copy the formula down until you reach the end of month. You will get a list of business days excluding weekends and listed holidays. Workday function treats Saturday and Sunday as weekend by default. If you need custom weekends, you can use the workday.intl function. This function has an optional weekend argument where you can pass a weekend code. The syntax is weekend indicates the day of the week that are weekend days and are not considered working days. For example, let us see how to generate business days for the month of Jan 2021 with weekend as Sunday and Monday. As you enter the function, Excel displays a menu as soon as you go into the third argument. You can choose a single day or two consecutive days as weekend. Let us select Sunday and Monday as the weekend code. The next business day is Jan 2nd. Copy the formula down. Sunday, Monday and the holidays in the list are skipped. To select non-consecutive days or more than two days as weekend, you can pass a string as a weekend code. String values are seven characters long and each character in the string represents a day of the week starting with Monday. 1 represents a non-work day and 0 represents a work day. 
only the characters 1 and 0 are permitted in the string. 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0 would result in a weekend that is Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Copy the formula down, Monday, Wednesday and Friday and the list of holidays are skipped. To download example excel file used in this video, please click on the link in the video description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.